OK, we've got a MX-5 in today for our water leak procedure, so we're just going to show you what we've found so far. Uh, so first thing we're going to focus on is the driver's door. Um, so if we pour a bit of water down the back of the glass, uh, what it should do is it falls out the bottom of the door, which it is doing. Um, but if we look closely... Oh, let's pour a bit more down now. OK, if we look closely, we can see that there's run marks coming out from the door membrane. So what that would do is it would sit on top of this plate and then it would work its way down into the car. Um, I believe we've probably caught this one quite quick because there doesn't seem to be any moisture in the back of the car or on the driver's side, should I say. Uh, coming across to the near side front, uh, a very common issue on the MX-5s. Uh, so what we're gonna focus on is this little screw here what holds the scuttle wearer on. So if we put some water just down that scuttle area, just so it's obviously going over that, that little obviously screw there. And then what that will do is it will then work its way into the car. Um, as we can see up the top there, uh, we can see that there's a load of rust on the brackets. So that's a good indication that it's coming through there. Um, so let me just see if I can get that to leak. There we go. So it's starting to leak now. So that would be the main leak which corresponds with the passenger front being wet. Um, and then if we just quickly put our hand underneath this carpet here, so my hand's nice and dry, and we give the underlay a bit of a squeeze. Okay, so we can see that it's wet under there. So it's more than likely to be wet all the way down the back side. Uh, then if we then come round to the back of the car, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on, well we can see that there's water in the back here, uh, we're going to focus on this middle brake light here, um, so if I just quickly set you up so you can see what I'm seeing. Right, okay, so if we watch for a drip, Okay, so we can see that the drip's starting to come obviously from the top in this hole here. Um, and basically what they are is their little clips. So that would be another leak there. Um, and then what we're going to do is we will show you the rear drainage system. Um, so what we're gonna do is if we pour a bit of water down the cabriolet roof, now it should come out at the bottom as we can see, there's no water actually running out at all. And if we then quickly open the roof up, so we can see what we're doing. Okay, let's quickly grab our torch. Right, another common problem, if I can get you in there. So we can see that the rear drainage system is blocked in there. So we've got water obviously staying in the, in the actual drain itself. Um, so if I just rock the car. So we can see water in the bottom there. It's quite hard to see because it's got a casing around it. Um, but they're not draining away the way it should. Um, so there we go. So we found all the leaks. Um, so we're just going to put an estimate together now. I believe that's everything we've found. Um, the only thing is with the door membrane, obviously we do recommend if we do one, we do the other. Um, so obviously we will recommend to do both of them. Um, but there we go.